Hey guys, I'm Kyle. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Kyle, yeah, right. <laughs> Hey guys, he's Kyle. <laughs> That's Madeline. And you're Travis. There you go. <laughs> we're, doing a, we're in the middle of the COVID-19 thing and um, <laughs> trying to find stuff to do, but actually it worked out perfectly because yeah. um, we got a, a new prop in. We tried the two blade E-prop, the three blade E-prop, and the six blade. Um, two blade is pretty standard. If you fly a Moster, you've probably flown a two blade E-prop. Yeah. Um, the three has been, so far, it's been awesome. It's yeah, the, the combination part. of smoothness and power and all those things combined together seem to really work really well together. Um, the six blade, rest in peace, <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> is um, it was a good prop, but it definitely didn't have that power the three blade did. Um, no. And I, I don't know why, it, the smoothness was really good. It sounded like, really a, jet, good. like a jet engine when it was running. And it running. looked amazing. And it looked awesome, yeah. So we called, um, you know, we talked to E-Props and we were a little surprised that that six blade didn't put out really as much push as the three. Yeah. And they said that the secret is the four blade. They said the four blade, you get the smoothness of the six yep. and you get the thrust of the three, which the three is already incredibly smooth. So I'm really curious to see if it's gonna feel any different than the three. Yeah, I, I think if it, if it has more power than the three, I'll be really happy. Um, the other thing that it, I'm gonna be looking at is the spool up time. Yeah, yeah. So that's going to be an important thing is that spool up time going from, you know, no power to full power and hoping that it's responsive and it, for that kind of flying that we like to do. Yeah, absolutely. So this is a four blade, 130 centimeter yep. E-prop for the Moster 185. All right, three, two, one. sound to it um, sort of like similar to a two blade but almost like a, a different harmonic but I think the pitch is very much similar to the two blade prop. Spool up time is a little bit slower than the three but it's definitely quicker than the six blade. It's the slightest amount of vibration but I mean the six I can feel nothing. Uh, this I can feel just a tiny little bit but it's definitely less vibration than the three. It's just, uh, it's, it's almost barely perceptible. It's not enough to even notice unless you're actually thinking about it. And then I think you would notice the vibration on this thing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's um, Tucker's video. He talked about like that little bit of a, tip sound and it sounds a lot like a two blade except for that little extra harmonic from the tip um, but it's kind of a neat sound it almost sounds ufo-ish <laughs> and um spool time's slightly slower than the three the smoothness is slightly better than the three but not the six and power wise hard to tell i think it's about the three maybe a touch more i'm interested to hear what you've got to say kyle so let me know It's really smooth, I like it. It's got kind of a, like a wispy sound on the edge of that prop. Let's see power. It's definitely got power. I don't know if it's more than the three, or if it's the same. We're gonna climb and see. Ah, it's got pretty good power. It's hard to tell the difference. Really smooth, pretty comfortable. I'd like to see it on a test stand. We're gonna do a nice little ground spiral here that we teach everybody not to do. Yeah, holds me up just fine.
That was good. No, it definitely has, uh, has plenty of power. Um, it's hard to tell if it's any different than the three blade. Um, but I, I did that ground spiral to see, cause that's a pretty good indicator um, if it is or not, you know, whether it's able to keep you up or not. And obviously how you maintain the energy, but it seems like the power is, um, it seems like the power is definitely there. It has like a weird wisp sound now. Yeah, when you right? give it power, it's not, I don't even know how, it sounds like a piece of paper. It sounds like a UFO sound. Yeah. It's kind of weird. It makes a yeah. kind of a, a weird noise, not a bad noise. It's not annoying, it's just different. What do you think of the smoothness compared to the um, other props? Um, well, it's obviously smoother than the two, not as smooth as the six, um, but compared to the three, I would say it's maybe a little bit smoother, but I mean, yeah. they're both really, really smooth. I feel, I don't know, we don't have an RPM gauge on, but I feel like this one runs at a little bit lower RPM. Mm. Mm -hmm. I just, when I was at full power, I didn't feel like the engine was screaming as loud as it normally is. Right. So overall, I really like it. I want to fly it some more and nice. enjoy it. Well, <laughs> Travis did not break this prop, so. Not yet. We're good. I'm working on it. Yeah. So you guys heard our thoughts. We, t we talked about it while we flew. We talked yeah. about it afterwards. Um, overall, honestly, it's, it's going to depend on your budget as one, right? Yeah. Um, the, are you going to need a six blade prop, most guys? No. <laughs> um, it's great for, you know, like we said, the cross country. So, type of thing, you hate that vibration or any vibration at all, totally deletes it. Mm -hmm. uh, the three and the four, um, cool factor, obviously the four. Yeah. Um, but in terms of both of them, I would want to get them on a thrust table before I could say this one's more powerful than this one. Yeah, like if there's a if there's a thrust difference, it's not like immediately perceptible Yeah, it's not like, well, it's not the, like the two and the three. three. No, like the two no, and the three is totally different. There. But the three and four is not quite as much different, I guess, yeah. so. No. Yeah, I, I think um, you know everybody's got a different opinion on what they're what they're looking for. Yeah, I think it's awesome. The E-Props has tons of options out there from two to six blades, two to, and any length. I mean, one ten to like one fifty. I don't know which motors go to that or which props go to that. Yeah, I know you have to get different reductions for any particular one, like the six um, blade. Yeah. If you run a six blade in a 130, you have to have it in a 287 reduction. Right, but the four blade, we can run 268 at 130, yeah. which was great. We didn't fine. have to do any changes Same thing with the reduction three. work. Exactly. So. so yeah, unless you want to mess with changing reductions from 268 to 287, you probably don't want to go to six. I don't really recommend that anyway. Um, I mean, I just stick with the reduction that you have. Yeah. Um, you know, some, like the PAPs come with 287. Yeah, I um, think uh, Pluma does too. Yeah, some won't come with that. Honestly, it's, I haven't, I haven't been able to test the two side by side. So uh, when it comes down to these props, guys, Honestly, go with what you want. If you yeah. want the smooth and you want the power, um, based on more experience with the three blade, I would say go with the three. Yeah. But, you know, any other time, if you want to try if the you four. you want beauty and aesthetics yeah. and cool factor. Yeah. And a little bit more smoothness. And a little bit more smoothness, yeah. And it's definitely the, the same power. Yeah. In my, my feel, and after flying it all, it's definitely the same power. I can't say, you know, more, but definitely the same. Um, and it's definitely a little bit smoother. And, yeah, I mean, yeah. Enjoy it. Thanks, guys. Almost ran into that motor on the way out of that frame. <laughs> Closer than six feet. <laughs> I got a haircut yesterday. Shaved my butt hair. That was fun. We just got people taking off back there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, it's the COVID, COVID high five. <laughs> <laughs>